You know, some people just want to be the best. Some people just want to be better. Some people just want to be great. But this man is like no other. This man is like no one. This man lives by an alternate pathway. This man is Marcus Pulferman. And he is here to take over the WWE and shape it in his own image. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy and welcome back to WWE 2K18. My career mode at the time is finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, the alternate edition of my career mode is back on the channel. And last time we left with Marcus Pulferman, it was a random episode of my career beyond, if I remember, in a WWE live tournament on Jordy's road back to the WWE. That was the last we heard of Marcus. Uh, but let's give you guys a bit of backstory from what's been happening. Marcus has spent the majority of his career at New Japan Pro Wrestling. Winning titles such as the, of course, the junior heavyweight title, which you guys saw. He is uh, also a former Intercontinental Champion and a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion as well. And of course, the two titles which we definitely know Marcus has won, the NXT Championship and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But now, you can't exactly call that a career in the WWE, okay? So we're back. To finish where we started um, for Marcus Paul from he's going to return as the hardest free agent after his New Japan Pro Wrestling contract ended. He's back with the WWE and he's back to reassert his control of the company. So as you can see, Marcus Paul from is basically like no one that I've ever controlled, no pun intended. Um, he's a showboat and he's got a very, very unique moveset. So, um... You guys will be able to see that in this episode. Well, part of the moveset anyways. Uh, we've got a lot of BC to spend, of course, since I've barely played my career at all. Road to Glory, we will be bringing that back at some point. So you guys don't have to worry. Oh, bringing it back. We never did it. Um, I'm planning to bring it around um, WrestleMania time. No, Fastlane. I, I, I want to kind of try it around, around Fastlane time. So, uh, you know... Hopefully that can happen. But anyway, we're back for some more My Career Mode. Of course, we're starting again all the way back from the beginning. And this time, we're going to do the alternate walkthrough, of course. With Jordy, we did the uh, fan favorite walkthrough, Monday Night Raw. Um, with Marcus, we're going to be doing the Company Man walkthrough, SmackDown Live. Wherever we start, we're going to end up on SmackDown Live anyways. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get this started, I want you guys to hit that like button as hard as possible can. We did awesome in the 2k16 my career mode finale episode six likes was awesome so with the return of my career mode i'm gonna set the usual of five likes if we get three likes um i don't know but if we get four likes we'll do the road to glory the day after the royal rumble if that is all right for you guys uh, if we get three likes, I'll bring back an old series, a random series. It probably will not have anything to do with WWE. And if we get five likes, of course, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess I'll think of something. But anyway, we're back with some more My Career Mode. We're about to get this started. Um, so yeah, like, share, comment, um, you know, any ideas that you have. Uh, and also, of course, share, um... To all the guys that don't watch my channel, because um, it'd be great to get some more subscribers, more support out there. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's my career mode alternate time, and let's get going. After almost a decade away from the company, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the returning Marcus Polferman. It's been almost a decade. He spent most of his career in New Japan. There's Hideo Itami, of course. Look at this, The Rock over there. 
faking his retirement against Jordi. So, of course, Marcus doesn't like him. Marcus, of course, never really had much of a career in the WWE. Spent just basically under a year. Just about a year. Only one year at the company, of course. Um, and he accomplished quite a lot. NXT Championship, Royal Rumble winner, and WWE World Heavyweight Champion, of course. Uh, but then he got screwed, and uh, he left the company, and he's been at New Japan Pro Wrestling ever since. But now, he is back in the WWE. Uh, let's talk to Matt Bloom. Uh, let's get going. Finally, the hottest free agent in all sports entertainment right here in front of me. Great to have you here. I'm Matt Bloom. Call me Matt. But, of course, you've met me before. Thank you, Matt. Amazing to be back in the WWE. Glad you decided to re-sign with the WWE. A lot of room for a guy like you on the roster once again, Marcus. You've seen what AJ and Shinsuke have done with the opportunity since you left, I'm sure. Hmm. I plan to do what they did, only better. They catapulted over a few steps, so I'm not sure that'll be possible. But you might get a shot at something similar, you know? What I mean to say is I think you can do the same. Up to you, obviously. Bust your ass every day to what I tell you, and you got the opportunity. Ain't no better place than this, believe me. Back when I started wrestling, if you weren't part of a wrestling school, you couldn't even get the opportunity to come to the WWE. Here, we got people from all over the world. Different backgrounds from different aspects of sports, like some crossover, transitioning. Happy to be part of this new legacy. Relatively new, anyways. Overall, what I want from you is to see your character once again. I want to see you working harder to get better all the time and better than you ever were. And it's been a while since your last match here in the WWE. True enough. Gonna always keep you focused on the mission at hand. So now introductions behind us. Gotta get rid of that ring rust and evaluate you. We'll see where you're at. I'm putting you in there against one of our season's veterans. You've never faced them before. But I'm pretty sure you'll find the challenge pretty good. No honeymoon, huh? You want one? No lie, it would be nice. Tough. Hop on up. Time to get down to action. Well, there we go, people. Marcus Polferman making his first WWE match in almost a decade. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Polferman and Ty Dillinger getting this started off. And what's Marcus going to go for already? Look at this. Oh, beautiful neck breaker. And down goes Ty Dillinger. We're live here from the Performance Center. Um, and one of our cameramen have actually spotted Marcus Polferman training right here with uh, the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. That's a spinning heel kick. Of course, Marcus being a little, little rusty. It's been a decade since his last WWE match. And of course... A year since his last match in general. And that's a beautiful maneuver right there. No ring rust signs right now anyways. Oh, look at that. Oh, Ty Dillinger, great reversal. Look at this. Oh, Marcus pushing him away. Oh, what a takedown by Marcus. And Ty Dillinger looks like he's in trouble right now. Look at this. Oh, he got him with the sets on. Ty Dellinger, oh, jawbreaker. Oh, Luthas press by the perfect 10. And Marcus seems as though he's in trouble. Look at Ty Dellinger now. Ty Dellinger just being a bit cocky, and look at this. Look at what? Oh my god, and here, here comes Ty Dellinger. Oh! Death Valley driver. Oh, another big stomp. By Dillinger, of course. Of course, Marcus Polkman, a former WWE World Champ. Here we go. Ty Dillinger up to the second rope. Oh, and Marcus gets out of the way from that. Oh, look at that! Oh, what a move by Marcus! And it doesn't appear... It, 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 uh, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. It appears as if there is no ring rust in the Leviathan. Steps on a great forearm and a kip up. Right there. Oh, beautiful moonsault headbutt. He's calling for it. 
Marcus pulled from him. He's calling for something. Oh, he went for something. And Ty Dillinger with a great reversal. Look at Ty. Russian leg sweep. Look at Ty Dillinger. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What a stomp. Wrenching on the arm. Oh my god, what a maneuver. This is a training match, of course. If Marcus wins, they've got to give him the AOK. -okay. Great reversal. Oh, right into the corner. And Ty Dillinger looks like he's in trouble. Look at these stomps right here by Marcus. Just stomping the hell out of Ty Dillinger right here. And of course, he's back to the second rope now with a senton. What's he going for right here? Ty Dillinger now. Marcus is calling for it again. Can he get it this time? Yes, he does. Ripcord knee. Wow. A ripcord knee by Marcus Poltram. And of course, Jordy has done that before. He's calling for it. I think Ty Dillinger might be in trouble. Oh my god. Bicycle knee right there by Marcus Polferman. Good night, Ty. That's it. One, two, three. Wow. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, great win for Marcus Polferman against Ty Dillinger. Very good. Good stuff. Haven't lost your edge at all. I've made sure to keep active outside the ring. It shows. Now listen. I know where you came from. They don't cut that many promos. Well, barely all, honestly. Hardly worth mentioning, apart from the top stars. Now is the best time to practice. I want to see what you got on that end. Go over to the promo area and cut a promo. Forget your expectations. Show me you. Alright, let's go. And here he comes. He's got that mic. He's about to cut some promos. Let's go. And of course, those of you who are new to the channel, relatively new, and have only joined since my career on here, uh, this guy was in 2K17. Uh, he's the brother of Jordy Polferman, both in real life and the game as well. This is Marcus Polferman, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go. Where is the best competition? Across the world, there are plenty of venerable organizations and plenty of legendary opponents. I kept thinking it over and over in my mind, but no matter what perspective I used, I came rushing headlong back to one inescapable conclusion, the World Wrestling Entertainment. I'll break it down for you, so you know what's coming. The onslaught I bring with me will change the shape of everything. I'll remake the face of wrestling forever. All the legends of the past step aside. Soon, the very nature of the WWE will evolve into something undreamt of before. You've dreamt of me pit against your favorite superstar, someone who hands down will crush me, right? And I still win? That's coming in blazing fast, no lie. Just don't be surprised or mad when I take him out for a hot date with the mat. Face first, maximum impact, and no callback number. The worst thing I enjoyed are those friends I trusted and loved, who chose to stab me in the back with the words, you won't make it there. What happened to loyalty? I would have had their backs to the gates of hell and out the other side. I'll forgive them for hurting me, but I will never, ever forget. I know I can take everyone's doubts, crumple them up, and shove them back down their ignorant throats. It has to be done. I have been through far too much to back down now, when the thing at stake is the most simple yet singularly important thing, me. I am going to prove them all wrong. Well, that was impressive. As natural as I've ever seen. Real honesty to your promo, and if you keep holding that edge, the WWE Universe is going to dig it. Dusty would be proud. 
Having the chance to speak straight to the fans is great. All your enemies, don't forget. Good point. I can't wait to do this for real. My advice is to practice often. I'll be training you hard, but remember that more than half of this is mental. Working the body is easy. The mind, your personality, and charisma, that's hard. But I'll take you there. Perfect. I'm ready for whatever's next. Take it easy for the rest of the day. Unwinding is as important as getting wound up. Get to know people around here. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. So, I ask myself, what was I trying to teach you? Plainly that you're a sadistic jerk who likes yanking starry-eyed hopefuls around. I mean, who doesn't? Me, actually. Hey, it's not so bad. You lasted longer than someone, somewhere, probably. My lesson was... possibility. Up there, lights pouring down on you, pounding of your heart, chants of the audience. That ring contains every possibility. So I have to prepare for every outcome. Win, lose, anything in between. Sure, and also know this. Nothing is possible when you're not in there. You gotta fight to get in there. You gotta fight to stay. You gotta fight to fight. You gotta fight to get up. I understand. Like, can't expect to breeze through everyone. Keep progressing and comes a time you can squash someone like Baron Corbin can. Look, all things considered, we think you're re more than ready to make the jump back to NXT. Seriously? Already? I call them when I see them, and I see you there laying down some incredible smack. Show up backstage next week, and we'll tell you where to go from there. Thank you, Matt. You bet. One more thing. Congratulations. Be rooting for you. Nice. Let's go. NXT, baby, let's go. Let's go, NXT, November week one. You made it, this is it. This is NXT. Feeling good? Feeling great. Awesome, definitely different from being at the Performance Center. So let me give you a once over. You're to make your debut, re-debut on NXT television. Not many guys get to enjoy this type of debut. That is to say, you're setting up a title match at the next NXT TakeOver since you never actually lost that championship. So my strong advice, think about how you want to create an impact. How do I go about doing that? This is your time. You gotta decide what type of WWE superstar you want to be. You can focus on promos, call, out, call your opponent out, or generally show off your charismatic self without the fans. Or you can take on high profile matches in order to prove you're worthy that your toughest bass is here. Outside of those options, you can ambush your opponent backstage and steal the advantage. It's easy, but it works. Ultimately, it's your choice, and you don't have to decide right now. We got any inclination? Honor is fine and all, but cutting against the grain of propriety isn't a bad, thi bad way to shake things up. Slamming someone backstage, ambushing, fighting dirty. I'm not, a I'm not above this. Some people are. You don't gotta be. What works, works. Not saying I'll do all the time, but as a choice, I'm interested. Be aware that with everything you do, there's someone thinking the same thing. Which is to say, watch your own back too. Good to have options, mix things up. That's it from me. I'm sure you're done hearing speeches and want to get to it. Check in with our producer at the production area. It will be your helper from here on out. Thanks for the help uh, thus far. You bet. Give him hell. Wow. NXT. Marcus Pulferman has returned, ladies and gentlemen. And first of all, how, how do you guys like the attire? I mean, I'm 50-50 with it. Uh, it's very limited. Speak with Baron Blade at the production area. Well, just like Jordy and Baron did, Marcus and Baron have a bit of history as well. Especially in NXT. If you guys remember 2K17, my career alternate. Let's go. We meet again. Was not only given the wrong down on you. Good things, I imagine. Hmm. Remains to be seen. High level of hype moving around you. I meant to see that it's real, or it goes in the right direction. Don't know what you're good at yet. No one's telling me either. Except for the, this baseless glowing phrase. I want specifics. There's no need to worry. All you have to do is give me a chance to shine, and I'll be your next AC champ. Yeah? 
what I'm doing, isn't it? Not words, actions. I couldn't agree with you more. Talk is cheap, as they say. Also a cliche, but whatever. Impress me. Hopefully, that's not asking too much. Match card is over that away. Take a candor and get back to me with what you want to have a go at. We'll build off that. All right. Whatever, man. Hideo, I, I want to speak to you, man. I'll speak to you, Hideo. You're going to hear a lot of different opinions. I'm going to tell you something that took me a while to learn. Tune it out and just do you. Yeah, be like no one. All right. So what is Marcus Polferman going to do on his return to NXT? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, snap. Let me turn this up a bit. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your weekly edition of Wednesday Night NXT. Of course, we're live from Orlando, Florida. And uh, we're going to start off the show with the uh, NXT champion Bobby Roode making a statement. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The show's about to begin. And opening up the show, our NXT champion Bobby Roode. And listen to this glorious entrance. The crowd singing along with the song as the NXT champion, still NXT champion after last night's takeover. And uh, of course, he's, make, he's gonna make a statement tonight. Probably gonna pick up a mic on his way down to the ring. What a great takeover it was, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this entrance. Wow! Bobby Roode has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Wait, what? Oh my god! Is that. Is that Marcus Polferman? Oh my god, a drop kick to Bobby Roode! Oh my god! That's Marcus Polferman! Oh, drop kick by Bobby Roode! Stopping Marcus Polferman from doing anything. Oh my god! Is this what Jordy meant by his replacement? Is this what he meant? Bobby Roode looking like he's seen it coming. Look at this. Oh, look at this! Uh oh! What a punch! Bitter end! Wow! And Marcus walking over to the NXT Championship. Bobby Roode is flat on the ground. And look at that. Bobby Roode is out, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Polferman is back. Wow, and uh, Baron Blade, obviously liking what he just saw. Okay, okay, yeah, not bad. Kind of impact you want on a first outing. Like what you did out there tonight, we can work with this. Keep running that angle, and you'll be fine, I think. Wow. And uh, the crowd outside of this dressing room, of course, is stunned. Because Marcus Polferman, the brother of Jordy Polferman is back and that was obviously going to be on the trending page. Let's move on people. Next up on NXT, the returning brother of Jordy Polferman, Marcus Polferman, is going to be going one on one with Cassius Ohno. A match like this, you're only going to see on NXT. Here we go ladies and gentlemen, NXT. The music hits. It looks like he's got a new song, new new theme. As he's on his way down to the ring. Very composed, very calm. 
as he makes as he's about to make his first WWE match in around 10 years ladies and gentlemen I'm joking I, I, it's either 10 years or about like probably five years I'd say I probably yeah I'd say five years but anyway Marcus Polferman is back here in NXT so uh, we're about to see him have his first match in about five years right here in NXT Look at that, he looks very concentrated. Very mixed reaction. And here comes Cassius Ono. But you know what, we're skipping his entrance, boyo. Here we go. Look at that, showing off a bit there for Marcus. And the bell rings. Oh, look at that big kick. Marcus starting already. Quick takedown on Cassius Ono. Knees to the arm. And uh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Bobby Roode's music hits. Marcus attacked him last week, remember? Right here on NXT. Marcus getting distracted a bit, maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, Bobby Roode. Pump handle slam. My God. Wow. Marcus getting ambushed on NXT tonight. Yeah, that can happen at times. Jeez, that hurt. Looks like, ouch. I guess that's why he's the reigning champion, huh? Big lesson for you. If you aren't on top of your game every night without fail, you can't beat him. If not for that running, I easily would have had Cassius. Sure. I mean it. Uh-huh. Look, what's happened is over. You move on, we move on. Lesson learned then. Lesson learned. Okay, file it away. Keep it accessible. And there comes Marcus Polferman. Might have to change that entrance video. Right now it's the SmackDown Live one. I might have to change it. Well, we'll see. But here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Right back here on NXT. Gonna do a promo. Now that he's back here in the WWE. Let's see what the Leviathan has to say. I have an good authority, namely by my fans, that I can take Bobby Roode out with ease. That doesn't surprise me, considering how abysmal a superstar that man is. I mean, come on, a grown man? And I say both of these things facetiously. Still goes by the name Bobby? That's kind of sad, Bob. Have you noticed the silence that descends whenever he's around? Is it, it's a hushed aura at this passing, of course, and definitely not a method to hide all the snickering. Come to think of it, that's when I see the audience pulling out the phone so they can do anything else other than watch him. Bobby is one of the many stepping stones in my path. He's probably no bigger or smaller than any other, but he's the next one laying before me. If I want to keep walking, he's the next step. There's no way around this, and if I'm being completely forthright with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. Basically, if I don't learn what limits I have, there's no way I can find a way to surpass them. If all of them die, that's the philosophy. I need to know where the line in the sand is so I can redraw it further away. That's a question I've always sought an answer to. Where do I end and future me begins? It's actually not Bobby standing in my way, it's me. Well, I'm intended to break through all those doubts and weaknesses and reach the person I can be. He's inside me and probably not all that deep and I have to dive in there and pull him out into the daylight and that's something only I can do. Oh, big statement by the noble contender to the NFC title tonight. Bobby Roode could be in big trouble. I think the champ heard pretty loudly. I have no respect for him. He should be champ and I put him on notice. It's cool. We'll have to continue to back that theme up though. Anyways, where are you? I'd be on edge right about you. Right about now. He's noticed you. So watch out. Lightning does strike twice at times. And here comes Bobby Roode, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one match with Cassius Ono tonight before going against Marcus Polferman at the paper. Oh, God. 
and he sees him. Oh, look at that big kick. Oh, Bobby Roode with a spear. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. Oh my god. I can't hit him. Oh my god. And Bobby Roode. Oh, Death Valley driver on Marcus Polferman. This time, Bobby Roode saw it coming. Oh, look at this though. The knee by Marcus puts down Bobby Roode. Oh, and just hitting Bobby Roode with the title belt. Oh, big punch to Bobby Roode. Look at this. And once again, bitter end. Marcus making a statement right before takeover. Made it this far. Ready to go a little further? Better be. This is your first title shot back in the WWE. Get angry or something that works. How'd you feel? I'm not sure why you ask. You don't care one way or the other. Nope. I want you to bottle whatever it is. Then let it explode in the ring. Like that part the best. The explosion of emotion. Crowd loves that. Squander this opportunity and it's not me who will yell at you. That'll be easy. Yelling at yourself is what you'll do over and over until you're mad. So don't do that. Got it. Don't go mad. Right. Avoid that. See what the NXT title has done for guys like Finn, KO, and Nakamura, haven't you? Could have that too if you win. I was born to do this. That's pretty specific, but hey, go with that. And don't mess it up. Win the NXT Championship. Cannot win by DQ or count out. Get a match rating of three stars. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to reclaim what is ours. Or more like Marcus is going to reclaim what is his anyways. Woo! Take over, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, this has been a pretty long episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm recording this in the morning. Uh, but it won't be the first thing I upload because I forgot to upload another episode of Rocket League Season, so I have to do that first. Uh, so Micro Alternate is going to be uploaded later than I'd than I'd want it to be, but you know I've got no choice. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's go! It's NXT Takeover. And here we go! Look at this pyro, ladies and gentlemen. Time for NXT Takeover. Let's do it. The NXT Championship is on the line as Marcus Polferman goes one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Roode. And it's for the NXT Championship, of course. Can Marcus reclaim the title or will Bobby Roode retain in his glorious way? This match is scheduled for one fall and it is for the NXT Heavyweight Championship. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty mixed reaction for this man tonight. Some people are glad that he's back. Some people remember him by what he was like last time he was in the WWE. Or what he's been like his whole career. He's always cared more about his career than the fans. And don't say I blame him. This man has accomplished quite a lot in, new, in Japan, basically. And now he's back in the WWE to accomplish even more. Of course, a very quick entrance. He wants to get right down to business. But he's got to wait for quite a while as Bobby Roode is going to make his entrance. His glorious entrance first. Let's go. Lights go out. And the fans completely booing for Bobby Roode. But still singing along, of course. But I bet but I guess we know what who the fans want to win and it looks like they're they're going with Marcus Polferman, surprisingly. Wow. 
What a glorious entrance from the man that is glorious, the NXT champion. Although he could lose it tonight. We have no clear favorite in this match. Bobby Roode has arrived here at TakeOver. And here he is. And Bobby Roode, of course, making a very cocky entrance. Shades of Ric Flair, of course, with the robe and everything. But he's got his own unique gimmick. And don't be surprised if Bobby Roode retains the championship by underhanded tactics. Marcus, of course, got to watch out for that glorious DDT, of course. Bobby Roode has put many an opponent away from that move. Marcus Pulperman not amused, of course. You can see by the look on his face. The lights go out again. Wow. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The title match is about to occur. And of course, this is what it's all about. The NXT Championship. One of the most prestigious championships in wrestling today. Introducing first, from Boston, England. Known as the Leviathan. Former IWGP Heavyweight Champion, Marcus Palfreyman. Mixed reaction for Marcus right there. And introducing second. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed NXT champion, the glorious Bobby Roode. Marcus just completely just looking Bobby Roode in the eyes. Now looking at the title. As the referee holds it up. Because that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby and Marcus nodding at each other. They know. Bit of a cocky look there by Marcus. Both of these competitors cocky. And the lights are back on. And we're going to lock up right now. Oh, Tornado DDT. Straight away by Marcus Pulferman. He's going to get this started straight away against Bobby Roode. He does not want to lose tonight. Big punch. Look at this, oh, quick takedown, beautiful. And the knee to the arm. And Marcus straight away to the second rope as uh, Bobby Roode goes out to the outside. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought you could hit them. I don't know. Anyway, oh, what a punch by Marcus. And, oh, spike DDT. And uh, Bobby Roode's neck twisted in places that no one wants it to go. Marcus, look at this, Marcus straight down to the offense, and look at this, miss out, no, and Bobby Roode reverses that missile drop kick, oh, Marcus now just tossing Bobby Roode away from him like that, look at this, elbow drop, yes, he got it, what's he going for here, uh oh, this is a move that Jordy's gone for a couple of times, and it actually really works. Oh, big stomp. Marcus back to the top rope. Pointing at Bobby Roode. Look at this. He's playing with Bobby Roode right now. Look at this. Missile drop kick. No, he misses. Oh, my God. He missed. And Bobby Roode now going to take control. 
so, with some cockiness of his own. Both of these competitors, very cocky individuals, of course. Look at this. Uh oh, look at Marcus with the kill switch on Bobby Roode. And look at this. Eat defeat. And Bobby Roode is down. Marcus gonna hook the leg right here. One kick out by Bobby Roode. And Marcus, big kick. Marcus Paul from having a great match against Bobby Roode so far. Looks like he hasn't lost a single step. Oh, big forearm and a kip up. But Bobby Roode still get back onto his feet. Bobby Roode, I don't think, think has ever faced anyone like Paul from him before. Bobby Roode rolls away. Can Marcus get him here? No, he doesn't. Come on, 2K. That agility thing is stupid at this point. And look at that spinning heel kick. Oh, super kick. Oh, he misses that one. Oh, spinning heel kick again. Super kick! And then bust Bobby Roode open. Look at this Hurricane Rana. Bobby Roode is busted wide open. And look at this elbow drop. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, my God. How many? Look at these elbow drops by Marcus Polferman. And look at this. And another one. Wow. Bobby Roode is in trouble now. And he's just sitting down. Marcus Polferman. This is supposed to be the easiest match. Four and big knee. And Bobby Roode crumbles to the ground. Oh my god. That is it. That's it. Good night, Bobby. One, two. No, Bobby Roode stays in it somehow. Somehow, Bobby Roode has managed to stay in this matchup. Look at this, though. Oh, he defeat once again by Marcus Pulferman. Lifting him up. Oh, big knee by Bobby Roode. Look at this, though. DDT by Marcus. Bobby Root cannot get any offense in whatsoever. Oh, quick take down by Bobby. These two going back and forth now. Look at this. Oh, and the cockiness being shown once again. And look at this. Watching leg sweep. And look at that. Complete and utter showboat. What's this? Oh, oh, look at this. He's learnt this from Alistair Black. Black mass. And down goes Bobby Roode once again. Look at this. Big elbow drop. Oh, moonsault headbutt. What's he going for here? Marcus Pulferman. Look at this. Oh, what a punch. Look at this. Record knee. Look at this. Uh oh. Maca Cutter. Oh, look at this. He's got it. A submission maneuver. Oh, Bobby Root taps. We got a new champion. Wow! We've got a new NXT champion! Bobby Roode got dominated tonight! Look at this! Boom! Look at that! Boom! That should have ended it, but somehow Roode stayed in it. Look at that! Boom! From another angle right there. Look at that. Boom. Ripcord knee to the face. Wow. Doesn't even show the ending, but whatever. I don't care. Because we have a new NXT champion. And Marcus Polferman has done what he said he was going to do.
Look at that. Wow. A new champion. And also now a two-time NXT champion. Look at that. Wow, we got a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Seriously? That's it? Super nice. Like pulling teeth. What are you grousing for? You did it. You, sir, are a born champion. I was spellbound. Towards the end, every single fan out there was cheering my name. There you go. Win the audience and win your fan base. Merchandise comes later. Check in with Matt before you run off. Once a few words prior to your heading out. See you. Really, that's it? Well, we got a new NXT champ, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Baron Blade doesn't care. Speak with Matt Bloom, whatever, not yet. Oh, snap. Akum, what's up, man? What are you going to say? I'm a minute away from putting my headphones on. No one back here has anything to say more important than my own inner thoughts. Look, kid, once you realize that fact, you'll also want to put on your headphones. Mm, good advice. Shane Thorne, TM61. What's up with you, man? There he is, the new NXT champion. Way to go, champ. Cheers, man. That means a lot. All right. Matt Bloom, let's go. Hey kid, kid, you flawed everyone with that. I knew you had it in you right from the start. See, this is what I said was going to happen. This is what I said would happen. This is what I said I would achieve. Because I am now the NXT champion. Bet on the fact that you, this very instinct, are on the fast track to success. Like, keep putting on great matches like that. Keep making all the right decisions. Working your fights and the audience over. You might find yourself main eventing WrestleMania one day. That's like the dream for everyone. You might do it too. Already done it. Um, can't be sure if that oddball producer helps much. I can't get a read on that one. What, him? Nah, he's great. Meticulous and passionate in his own way. Does things at like his own pace. He's been supported. Supportive, even if you never directly noticed. Listen, gotta take off. Great job, kid. You wrecked it. So proud of you. Wow. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of this episode and the first episode of WWE 2K18 My Career Alternate Edition. And um, I want to thank you all for the support that we gained on the 2K16 My Career Mode Finale video. Um, we're going to be back tomorrow for another episode of My Career Alternate. Going to try and upload daily when it comes to this series. So, uh, you know, I guess we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this episode of My Career Alternate. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah! Peace out. And I'll see you soon.